Problem 16. Given the sequence a sub n equals negative 7 plus 2 times the quantity n minus 1, determine the seventh term of the sequence. So anytime we're determining a certain term, this is just going to be our n value. So we're going to plug 7 in for n. So start with the parentheses, 7 minus 1 is 6, 2 times 6 is 12, so we get 5. So our answer here is B. Another way you could have solved this problem is, I know that negative 7 is my first term, and I know that my common difference is adding 2. So my sequence goes like this, negative 7, if I add 2 I get negative 5, if I add 2 I get negative 3, add 2 I get negative 1, add 2, I get 1, 3, and then 5. So here's my seventh term right here. Okay, problem 17, determine the third term. So again, we could just plug um, 3 in for n, or we could say, I know that negative 2 is my first term, and that I'm multiplying by 5 every time. So start with negative 2, multiply by 5, we get negative 10, Multiply by 5 again, we get negative 50. Here's my third term. If you were to just plug 3 in for n, this is how you would do it. You could enter it like that in your calculator, or we could just simplify this. 3 minus 1 is 2. We have to do 5 squared first. We can't multiply the negative 2 and the 5, so 5 squared is 25 and negative 2 times 25 is negative 50. Problem 18. The table shows the distance d in miles traveled by a car after t number of hours. What is the rate of change in miles per hour of the situation? Anytime you see rate of change, you should think slope. So with slope, we're going to do um, y1 minus y2 over x, well, I should have switched my numbers here. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We don't really have x's and y's here, but our independent variable here is t, and our dependent variable is y, is d, I'm sorry. So we're going to do, I'm going to pick these first two points right here. So I have y2 y1, x2, and x1. Looks like I made a little mistake here. This should have been 3 minus 1 because my x value up here is 1. So I fixed that. 3 minus 1 is 2. So then 120 divided by 2 is 60. So our answer here is D. Problem 19. The graph of y equals negative 2x plus 5 is shown. If the y-intercept of the graph became 9, which statement below would be true? So the y-intercept is the 5 right here. If that becomes 9, we would be adding 4, which means that our graph would be going up. Problem 20. A line passes through the point 3, 4. I'm going to go ahead and label that as my x, y. And has a slope of negative 2. I'm going to label that as my m. Write an equation of the line. So equations of lines are in the form y equals mx plus b. Right away, I know that my m is negative 2. So I can definitely cross off problem b because that m, that slope, is a positive 3. Answers A, C, and D all have negative 2 as a slope, so any of them could be my answer. So let's go ahead and solve for B now. What we're going to do is we're going to plug 4 in for Y. We're going to plug negative 2 in for M and 3 in for X. Leave B at the end, and now we're solving for B. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Add the 6 over. We get B equals 10. So our answer is D. 
Problem 21 says, identify the slope, so we're looking for slope, that's perpendicular to this equation. So recall, perpendicular means opposite, reciprocal. Opposite means to change the sign, reciprocal means to flip the fraction. So we need to start by figuring out what this slope, the slope of this line is. So we're going to put this in y equals mx plus b form, so we're solving for y. We're going to subtract over the 3x. And then divide everything by five, negative 5. So we get y equals, we have negative 3 over negative 5x, and then plus 11 over negative 5. This simplifies to a positive 3 over 5. So my slope of this line is just 3 over 5. Okay, Pro, or answer B says 3 over 5. That's not my answer because that would be if our lines were parallel. We don't want it to be the same. D isn't close, so we'll cross that one off. So my answer is either 5 thirds or negative 5 thirds. So remember, perpendicular is opposite, which means change the sign, and reciprocal, which means flip the fraction. So it's going to be a negative 5 over 3. So our answer is C.